In this activity, we're going to explore the concept of capillary action. Capillary action is caused by water's attraction to surfaces. Engineers must understand capillary action when determining how far shingles must overlap on the roof of a house. As an experiment, when water is attracted to the inside of a tube, it actually will climb up the tube in the opposite direction of gravity a little bit. Students will explore and measure this phenomenon in the following activity. For activity two, each pair of students should be provided with the following. A drinking straw, a glass capillary tube, a clear plastic transparency or report cover, a ruler, a cotton ball, a shallow plastic disposable plate, sugar cubes, paper towels, and a plastic cup. The instructor should have ready food coloring, masking tape, soil, limestone, and sand. Have the students fill their plastic cups with water and add a few drops of food coloring. Now, dip the corner of a paper towel into the beaker, letting it barely touch the water. You can see that the water moves up the paper towel, seemingly defying the force of gravity. Similarly, sugar cubes in a shallow dish is a great way to show capillary action at work. Have the students build a tower of sugar cubes and make sure they are all touching each other. Fill the dish with water and food coloring, just like the beaker. Observe the movement of the water up the sugar cubes. You can explain to the students how in both cases, capillary action allows the water to move against what is expected. Now we're going to have students explore capillary action in small cylinders like straws. First, mix up the food coloring in the water. Then, as you can see here, a large straw has no noticeable rise in the water. A smaller straw, or in this case a capillary tube, has, has rise given by capillary action. The same kind of a rise can be seen in wood as the water seeps up the wood. This will happen very slowly over the course of an hour. 